This is the month we highlight the most common type of cancer in the United States, skin cancer. 9,500 people are diagnosed with it every day. We know sunscreen is meant to protect us, but an FDA study raises some new concerns. The small pilot study found some of the chemicals in sunscreen seep into your blood. The agency is calling for more research to see if it's harmful to your health. So what should you do now? Our Sally Hernandez spoke with a local dermatologist for some advice. Tell us about um, this study and were you surprised when you first read it? What was the most surprising part about it, if so? Well, the study is interesting. It looked at whether or not our chemical sunscreens that we're all using every day are absorbed into the bloodstream in high enough levels to have concern. It does turn out that those blood levels are high enough to give us some concern that the FDA wants to look at the toxicities of those chemicals. And so when we look at that study, it found that some of those chemicals you were talking about were found in one's blood for several days after it was first applied. Is that concerning to you as a doctor? I do believe that does make me a little bit concerned. Chemicals inside of our bodies that we're not sure how they're going to affect us in the long run, lasting for several days after application, make us really want to know what those effects are going to be in the long run. And those studies just are not out there yet. As a dermatologist, you see cases of skin cancer, I'm sure, frequently. So does the potential risk of applying sunscreen and it seeping into your blood outweigh the benefits that you know of sunscreen? Absolutely not. At this point, we know that sunscreens are very protective and they help prevent skin cancer. And they, even at the end of the study, they still recommend that we continue using sunscreens. Ultimately, if you really want to be the safest, you can use not a chemical-based sunscreen, but one of the physical blocker sunscreens um, that have zinc or titanium in them. Okay, what is the downfall of one of those zinc or titanium sunscreens, if there is any? Well, there are a couple. So one of them is that they tend to uh, make the skin white or give it a whitish hue. That's one of them. Also, if they are sweated off very quickly, they don't give you enough protection. So you want to make sure you look for one that says water resistant on there to give you the most protection. Got it. As a mom, I know that I'm always concerned about what I'm putting on my kid. So is sunscreen okay for little ones, for children? So yes, we still recommend sunscreen for children. Mm -hmm. We do recommend the zinc and titanium for children being the best, and we always recommend sun protective clothing, hats, sunglasses, long sleeve rash guard shirts for them as well. Okay, so bottom line, in your opinion, sunscreen, still wear it. It's safe for you right Absolutely. now. Absolutely, still wear it. Okay, thank you. And taking a closer look at melanoma, it is the deadliest form of skin cancers, but it only accounts for 1%. That's according to the American Cancer Society. Melanoma, melanoma still accounts for most of the deaths. Statistics show that the rates of melanoma have steadily risen over the past 30 years.